Welcome back to Marbella now and to the Marbella Marina, the Harbour Restaurant, where we'll be recording once again this week's programme. Really excited about this week because once again, it's healthy time. The summer's finished, it's time to look after ourselves. And remember, we've got to get into some really healthy, good routines. And what better way to get back into the spirit of things with a mind body and spirit festival at the end of this month also a lot of other great guests coming on the show looking forward to keeping updated with everything that's going on in our city because we wouldn't want you to miss a thing hey, hey. some people know what time of year it is by the seasons not me i know it by the events coming up and it has to be october because we have the mind body and spirit festival again at the end of the month founder, organiser, Jacinta Hallam is here once again to remind us what it's about and how we can get involved. Hi Jacinta. Hello, hello Nicole, so how are you? So lovely to see you again. Thank you for having me, thank you. Time just goes by so quickly. Yes, it's October again and it's the annual Mind, Body and Spirit Festival at the H10 Andalusia Plaza coming up on the 27th and 28th of October. Very exciting, it has become quite a landmark event now yes. that people who like so I suppose investigate and know more about the world, life, yeah, themselves, yeah. Yeah. which is quite wonderful because I was saying to Jacinda just before that well, the first time I went in, you could actually feel that people were there to help others and that's actually very quite tangible. Yes, well it's to help to raise the vibration of the people because um, you know, when people come in sometimes you know, they, they can sense the energies and their you know there there's lots of healing going on so people can be uplifted their vibration and their frequency comes up you see so they come in maybe sometimes a little bit serious and they go out smiling yeah. it really so. is it's a, it's a very noticeable feeling everybody is there from and it's this the variety take a, a little sideline there talking about variety you yourself have a stand there yes for your kangen water and today although i haven't invested in a um, a system. Machine, machine. I was going to say machine, but I wasn't really sure. Is it machine, a system? Well, they call it a medical device, really, because it, that's, that's exactly what it is. It's by the Minister of Japan. It's a health, health medical device for the prevention of disease. And it also helps the body to function optimally as well. So it helps the body to heal itself from sicknesses and illnesses too. But what's the difference between your Kangen water to the water in our taps or that we're buying okay. from the supermarket? Well, they call, the, the bottled water in the supermarket obviously has plastic and also it, they call it dead water and it still has contaminants in it. Whereas our, our machines, they, uh, it has a filter, it cleans out the contaminants and the chlorine and then it goes over the titanium plates coated with platinum. So therefore it re-energizes, restructures the water into high alkaline water for drinking and then acid water for cleaning so you have an eco cleaning house uh, as well you know so it does a variety of different things it has the acid water and the high alkaline water for drinking but you wouldn't want to be drinking the acid water no 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 that's for actually the pH of the skin is number five and the, some of the acid water is number five pH so therefore we can spritz our face uh, with with uh, with acid water and also we can clean windows floors everything in the house as well but we'd be drinking but we'd be drinking the 8.5 or 9 or 9.5 uh, high alkaline water because disease cannot exist in an alkaline body that's Dr. Warburg he got the Nobel Prize for this many years ago okay 19... so it's got to keep an alkaline body and this is obviously has a cost so but I understand yes. that you do have payment facilities oh, we do, we do. We, we do have easy payments facilities with zero interest which is fantastic and the Japanese uh, they have their own bank so which what, is what would excellent. be the benefits why would someone say okay I'm I want I, I know but what is the main differences that one would perceive of drinking your water? Well, um, usually the, from the moment that we people drink the water, because it's microcluster, that means tiny water, it gets into the system in 10 minutes and into your brain, so you can feel the oxygen in your brain, so therefore you're getting more energy automatically. You can sleep better at night, so uh, that, that, those are two important things. And also then it's to prevent disease. So people maybe with, maybe with diabetes or high blood pressure or low blood pressure, uh, they start, the body starts healing itself internally because we are 70% water. Basically. We certainly are. We are. We are. And I have to say, I'm quite passionate about the experiments that they've been doing. This Japanese also yeah. guy was uh, studying the frozen water crystals and yes. seeing how water can look like a diamond under 
heavy yeah. enlargement or it can not look like yeah. that. Well, we are energy. water. We're exactly. all energy, you see. So it's important what we think, what we say and how we feel. Yes. And that is why bringing it back to the Mind, Body and Spirit Festival, what kind of experiences are we going to feel this year who's exhibiting what's going on right well we have like 50 stands so there's a variety of stands with crystals and jewel special unique jewelry and products health and beauty products and then there is 18 different talks and demonstrations throughout the day uh, we have Jennifer McKenzie she's on at four doing a demonstration of mediumship we have uh, Michael Harding, Andrew D. Lots of new mediums this year and old ones. So you Jan can meet Siggs, I believe, is Jan also returning. Jan Siggs is also uh, doing her demonstration. She's actually the first demonstration of the day at 12 o'clock. So on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we have also uh, hypnotherapists, to people doing talks on, on uh, all sorts of uh, different healing modalities. Reiki, Shiatsu, massage. Uh, so people can have tasters of these event, these different things. Also, I'll be there giving people tasters of Kangen water <laughs> because I always give everybody a free trial. Anybody who's interested in a free trial and they can experience it them for themselves. Get a nice glass so, of water to then walk around the fair. And the nice yeah. thing is that you do, you have a section where there are talks that go on yeah. from midday all Every through half both days. Mm -hmm. And then also the stalls and stands that you can walk around. Are there any Food? refreshments, food? Yes, there are. Uh, we have Valerie, she's doing the, the Middle Eastern food so people can have that kind of uh, have wraps and hummus and stuff like that and also we have uh, Lulu she's also going to be doing cakes and pastries and things as well so everything's there so people get a ticket it costs us 10 euros to come in they get a, a ticket an armband and they can go in and out for the rest of the day um, so they can choose which talk and every half hour there's a different we'll give them a program on the entry at the entrance and then they can choose which demonstration also then if they want to have a private reading they can book with one of the mediums or, or a tarot reader or is there a, a ticket a for both days is it the same just it was not ten euros it's just yeah a ten a euros for the day it's a, a day it's not even like a cost really is it it's just exactly. like a contribution it's, exactly an energy exchange we call it and, and exactly <laughs> an energy exchange yes that's true which is a very nice so mm. remind us of the dates and where can we get our tickets if okay. we want to get them before the day? Well, it's the H10 Andalusia Plaza Hotel and it's Saturday the 27th and 28th of October from 11am in the morning till 8pm and the entrance is 10 euros and entitles you to all the talks and demonstrations throughout the day. Sounds absolutely fabulous. And if we were interested in your Kangen water? Uh, if they, well, they can always call me on 670-628-468. And I have a website, um, I, you can contact me on mindbodyspiritmarbella.com or kangenrunningwater.com. Kangen Running Water, how about that? Got to keep it moving. Yeah. Got to keep that energy it. flowing, which that's is it. the most important. That's it. But Jacinda, it's lovely to see you again. Oh, it's uh, been a pleasure, really. And really? Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. And I look forward <laughs> to seeing you, if not before, at this year's Mind, Body and Spirit Festival at the H10 Andalusia Plaza. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye now. Free taxi four times a month and 25% discount on your car insurance if you're the zero hero. Yeah, I'm here in Marbella, but I, it says here I'm in La Canada. If you haven't mastered the lingo, don't worry. Linear Director has a free GPS geolocator service that will come and find you. Today I'm taking advantage as it's like changing over the season as opposed to putting Chara out there doing her own spot the same as Amanda doing her own spot it's nice just to have a little chat and catch up because it's been a busy summer but Chara the last couple of weeks for you have been non-stop <laughs> but breathe <Yes>. woman breathe <laughs> no it was really cool amazing so awesome to see what people actually you know organize for us went to Asturias uh, there were, I think, like 500 people walking for charity. Um, they sold t-shirts, they sold butterflies, everything. Uh, amazing fundraising. Um, that was mainly Spanish, uh, Spanish crowds. And then I went to Alicante. There, there was a charity ball, 200 people. Learned a lot. I was uh, really, really surprised with the fundraising ideas and the little games they had, just you know, to, just to collect uh, donations. And they did, they did an amazing job. And they had so much fun dancing until well, they danced the night away. And uh, another nice event in Calahonda, also with British. 
uh, that was a birthday bash, singing and dancing also for charity. So yeah, yeah. It's and the nice really thing is, I mean, you're Dutch, <coughs> you're living in Marbella and it's very yeah. comfortable. Yeah. But I suppose also for you, when you get to go particularly Asturias, even Alicante, yeah. it's Spanish. Yeah. And you're in Spain. Yes. And it's very different. And they're not as um, typical to participate with charity in Spain as mm. we're educated, say, in England and in Holland, but it's lovely to see how it really yes. has taken, and to run an international, not a national, that you're not just Marbella, no. you cover the whole of Spain, mm. it's, it's a challenge, Tara, no? Yeah, yeah, no, and it's also, what you say, interesting to see uh, all those nationalities, and that in the end, they all want to do something good, and we all, even if you're, you know, a pensionado, or you're still entrepreneur, you're working hard in between, if you can do something good and you can go to an event, have a great time, dance the night away for charity, people are really, really willing to do that. Also sports, eh? I mean, it's not also dancing and drinking, but it's also sport or biking, pedal, that kind of competitions. It's, um, for people who aren't familiar with the Butterfly Children's Charity, it really is amazing that a Spanish branch exists to thanks to a family whose child was born with this very mm. very delicate skin but obviously the funding for investigation looking for cures palliative care professionals to go around teaching families who unfortunately may suddenly find that they're in this situation mm. there are so many different aspects we've met with you who are fundraising you've got then the social workers there are the nurses the shop managers and this is something because obviously events are very important, but a good day-to-day -day bread and butter mm. entrance for the Butterfly Children's Charity is with your second-hand shops. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is just a small yeah. display of the variety. You actually have little bits of furniture there. Yeah. I got my son's, son's booster seat for the car there. I buy a lot of my clothes there. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, me too, me too, me too. But so. do you have great, like the jackets you've yeah, got with you? Yeah, I thought I'm going to bring this one. I mean, th this is, uh, I mean, look, I'm wearing an, a plain navy pant from Stradivarius. Th just a coincidence, because but I took it. you put this jacket on top, and suddenly, I'm dressed for like a business event. You know, I mean, I like it. It's, it really it suits is. you, really. It makes it so easy, it particularly like you know, if you go out a lot of Marbella, yeah. that you can dress yourself for nothing but in really good label brand yes. clothes because we have really, really rich people who either never worn something and they throw it out or they've worn it so little. Yeah, only once because if they have their gala picture in that dress, they can't use they it can't a second time. Again. So, yeah, to be honest, we're very very proud of the the little pearls I always say and the treasures the people donate to us uh, because it's vital to our survival and um, yeah we need that so um, yeah I thought I'm gonna bring the shop into your living room today to a little see the bit variety. You got just DVDs. a little bit yes. these are just cute, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean aren't they just the little person to put it in there yeah peluche so these tins you have them around Marbella because it's a different collecting system in Spain than other places mm -hmm. regarding collection tins. So to be able to contribute, definitely the charity shops, we could call do transfers me. to bank lines yep. directly as well. Yep. Best and things to call you. Yeah, and then if you want to have a tin in your shop or uh, at home even, then uh, you can have it, we registered, and um, you can have a tin at home. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, because in the end we've got loads of little coins, you know, the ones, the copper ones, and in the end it's still money. And it's, uh, it all adds up. Well, what a lovely idea. If you would like to have one of the little collection boxes at home, in your shop, in your business, contact Charito and you. she'll make it happen. That's a cost of women hashtag, make it happen. <laughs> make it happen, yeah. We are better together, and we are as one. <laughs> Taro, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, look forward to seeing you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.